Now, you have Danny Lee here. This is, this is the woman who is not unattractive whatsoever. She posted the tweet that you're looking at. And she's stating why she is the best girlfriend, right? Have we not heard this before? There are women out there that believe that they are the best girlfriend ever. But then they cannot stay in a stable relationship. Look at what she's saying. Best girlfriend, loyal, loving, motivating, a woman of God, a family girl, a freak, a woman of God. You know? The problem is women can't take constructive criticism. They get caught in their feelings. Thank you, Abby. Yeah, it, it that definitely happens. Like when I've made content over the years, I notice women tend to get heavily emotional, but they're seeking answers. You know, something something brought you here. Something brought you to wanting to understand men more. Something brought you to want to understand why your relationships are not working. What can work for you? And there are women that just can't handle the criticism. So they will deflect. Instead of reflect, you know, but um, with Danny Lee, I'm funny, jiggy, hardworking. I ain't boring. <laughs> she says I'm perfect. Come on now, now she could be joking. He said, "Oh, she's joking, Jay. Why are you saying this? She's joking, Jay. Can't you take a joke? I mean, listen, I I'm a, I like to tell jokes too. I have a little bit more of a dry humor, you know. My humor's a little bit more drier than that, but. There's always truth in jokes. She's very serious. She's in her feelings right now because the fact that she was having a fling with the baby and he probably made all types of, sold all types of dreams to her and then went back to his ex because he realized, man, it was easy smashing. Man, look, men don't want nothing that easy, man. Because I'm pretty sure other rappers have tried to get with her. But she got with the baby instead. And he ended up going back to his chick. There was really no challenge there. There was no reason to be in a relationship with somebody that's willing to let you smash. You know, like that. Now, every female believes she's the best girlfriend if she's in a relationship. Like, you don't really know if you're the best girlfriend unless you're actually in a relationship. And you've been in it for a long time. And the guy that you are with is able to happily state that that is true. Have y'all noticed that there are women who will take pictures of them and their boyfriends or husbands. And the dude looks like he does not want to be anywhere near a photo with her. Have y'all seen that? Now that's not a guy who will say that he's with the best girlfriend ever. That's a guy who might end up saying, I don't like this chick like that, but I'm with her, you know? How many of us have seen pictures of women with their boyfriends or husbands, and it looks like the guy just does not want to be there? Like, why are you putting me on your Instagram? I don't want to be on your Instagram. Now, this is a guy who's supposed to be claiming you, but he wants to be as far away from you as possible, and you're in a relationship with this person. You're married to this person, but he don't want to be anywhere near your online activities. Which means that he may have already settled in a separate life outside of what you two have together. And you re and you refuse to see those warning signs until he ends up getting with another woman and then you act like you didn't see it coming. You should have seen it coming. Whenever a man has become so detached that he wants nothing, that he doesn't even want to take a picture with you, that is a sign right there that he doesn't see you anything long term and that that situation is on the rocks. Now, maybe it can be salvaged, maybe it can be fixed. I don't know, you know. But with Danny Lee here, she's subtweeting. Shout out to Nassara again, appreciate that. She's subtweeting this guy. She's putting up these posts of herself in bikinis trying to appeal to the next guy because that's the life of your modern day female. She's always trying to appeal to the next guy. On to the next guy, on to the next guy. We as men don't do that. Like, you don't. We're not getting out of relationships and hopping on social media with our shirts off. You know, we just not doing that. We just moving on. But women have to av advertise themselves physically because they don't really let people know their qualities. It's all about 
Look at how big the assets are. Look at how good I look in this outfit, in this bikini. And it's hard for a man to, to get to know who you are because you're not letting them in. Women like to hold their personalities close to the vest. And they only expect for people to understand them physically. That's just the, the type of society that we are in now. We're in a society that the women only see themselves as objects. But then they, they get upset when us as men see them as that. Why are you getting upset? This is how you live your life. This is how you advertise to people. You advertise yourself physically, but you don't advertise yourself mentally. That's what separates the women who are successful relationships and the ones who aren't, you know? This scenario sounds like love and hip hop crap. <laughs> Thanks, Ed Nies. Appreciate that. It, it's very much so like that. You got to understand that most women of today live their lives through social media and reality TV. If you go to any female under the age of 35, what is she going to be watching on TV? She's going to be watching reality TV. She's going to be watching reality TV. Maybe, I would say soap operas, but I don't think no women under 30 or 35 watching soap operas. You know, they're watching reality TV all day long, you know? Or a movie, or or a movie about like a, a Queen and Slim type movie. Y'all know those movies I'm talking about. Where it's the the street dude and the chick. Y'all know the women of our community like those things. <laughs> you know. So we really have to. To understand in society, they want to make women out to be this way. No more respectability. Respectability out the window completely. And a lot of women are falling into that. And they are not able to let people know who they truly are. Now, in regards to a lot of these female entertainers, Danny Lee does not have a big following. She only has 91,000 followers on Twitter, but she's known. She has a, a lot more, I believe, in Instagram followers. But for the most part, she's a part of the industry. An industry that, you know, dating doesn't go well for a lot of these, these, these females, man, because they, yeah, she has 2 million followers. And they get into these celebrity relationships because they're trying to be another Beyonce and Jay-Z. Have y'all noticed that it's harder for women to want to date outside of the industry? The date, I would say date inside the industry instead of outside. Like you got famous guys that will link up with famous chicks. But when famous chicks try to link up with famous guys, it usually be pro athletes or rapper, uh, pro athletes for the most part, it usually never works out that way, you know? The relationship is like a flop, you know? So, honestly, it's gonna be hard if you out here basically selling yourself, <laughs> public-wise, if you don't if bring nothing to the table, you don't eat. Appreciate that, Nassar. That's what that's what goes on, man. But again, that's why you got these chicks that chase rich guys or successful guys because they want their lifestyle funded. They want their lifestyle funded. But what's crazy is that you got women who want their lifestyles funded but they still have this feminist attitude. It's like you don't wait, you don't make anywhere near the money of the men that you're dating, but you still have this feminist ideology. This that women can do it too type mentality, but you're not out there competing. You're being taken care of. You're being taken care of, but you have this mindset of I'm a feminist, I can do what men can do. I don't need no man, but I want a rich man. Have y'all noticed that? 
They don't need a man, but they want a rich man. <laughs> you know? They don't need a man, but they want a rich man. I just think it's going to be tough for a lot of women. And it is tough for a lot of women. That's why women need to be honest with themselves and seek out the information that's going to help them. But they don't do it. They think they're just going to move on to the next guy and things are going to be fixed that way. That's not how it works. Because you have not took the time to fix yourself. So you're going to constantly be in a state of trying to figure out what's happening. What's going on? And what's up with the likes? What's up with them likes? You refuse to look inward. You refuse to say, what have I been doing wrong these past couple of years? But in 2020, you have more single women now than ever before who are desperately seeking a relationship. Any relationship. But they still get in a state of not understanding what's going on. Prime example. I was at the gas station close to where I live a little earlier today, right? I was in there to grab a few things and be out. There was this dude that walked in, right? And uh, cause they got like a subway in there. They had like a subway in the gas station. So there was this dark skinned female standing there. And the dude walked in. It was a tall, skinny guy. And I, I guess he started to rap to the to the chick. And she got what she was getting and she was leaving and he trying to get her name and, a, you know, her number. And she just quickly leaving out the store, getting into a car, I guess, with her friend, just trying to avoid this guy. Women want their lifestyle funded and want female equality. She getting kicked to the curb. Fast. Appreciate that again, bro. Yeah, they want that. They want that equality publicly, but privately they want to be taken care of. They want to level up. They want to get paid. But um, yeah, what, what I was saying about the chicken and girl. Now, the chicken at gas station. She she was um. She wasn't cute cute at all, but she did have a big caboose. So I could see why the brother was trying to holler at her. Me, I'm trying to get in and get 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 what I need to get and go. So I'm at the counter. That's when I hear him trying to talk to her. She get, I guess, her sub, and she, she's leaving. And he kind of like following out a little bit, trying to trying to talk to her. And she's not giving him no play. The reason why I say this, this is kind of like a side note a little bit, but it kind of ties in. You have women of the darker hue who say that us as melanated men, we don't holler at them. We, we're not taking the time to, you know, uh, Get to, I don't want to say get to know him, but you know, holler. Now, he did. I will say, though, she was walking away. He's trying to see her name. He's trying to ask her name. He, he said, I thought your name was, I think he said, um, Big Butt or Big Booty. Anyway, he, he, he screwed up. It's like, dude, you got no game at all. And he was with his, he, he was there with his little son. And he looking clownish trying to holler at this chick that's literally trying to leave out, out the store. And I'm, and I'm thinking as I'm standing at the con, I'm like, Man, you done messed that whole interaction up, man. <laughs> you need to speak to AMS. Not the joking. But it, here's, here's our tie in. You got women of the darker hue that say us is when we're not checking for them. We don't holler at them. We ain't trying to talk to them. That's false. You have a lot of women of today who need, no, who need, who chase after men. They're used to chasing after men. Okay? They're not used to men really approaching them like that. I mean, they are, but they, they are uncomfortable with that. They're more comfortable chasing after men. And I think Danny Lee and a lot of these other chicks of today are a lot more comfortable chasing men instead of being chased. Okay? They are used to going after the men they want, but... When it comes to men trying to get at them, they're uncomfortable, but they're more comfortable chasing men. That's how it is. And that's why these women get curved by men. That's why these women get played because they're chasing after men. And we as men, we know immediately if a woman likes us or not. And a lot of guys take advantage of that and they use these women and they, they kick them to the curb. And that's what's going on.
And I think a lot of women need to understand that you need to change your mindset and stop looking to chase men who don't want you. Because too many women of today are chasing men that simply do not want them. 